Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to another episode of Civilization V. We're playing Venice. And as you can see, we do have another great merchant of Venice here, Sir Alexander Mackenzie. And I do want to send him off to uh, Quebec City um, over here to the east. And I think we may actually buy out this city. Um, just because they do have some oil here, which would be nice. They've got some coal as well. And uh, they potentially have access to the archaeolo arch archaeological site here. And also the Barringer Crater over here as well. And maybe even a, a second archaeological site over there. So we'll see if we can uh, buy out uh, Quebec. And that would be pretty cool. Um, we can also uh, get this worker working now. So they can uh, build a road um, over to that city as well. So let's just send them over there. It is uh, turn 274, another four turns until we get uh, electricity. Um, we like shiny things the most. We have the most money, which is no surprise. We do have a lot of trade routes going. Actually, we get another two trade routes now. So I can get another couple of uh, cargo ships um, out. That would be pretty cool. And uh, get a little bit more cash as well. Um, let's just send Alexander McKenzie over to Quebec City. Um, we do have to renew these cargo ships now. Some of them were going to Quebec. Um, so I guess I need to send them somewhere else. Uh, let's quickly have a look and uh, see what we can do. We can get 32 gold from Morocco. It's not bad at all. Uh, but we'll go to Hong Kong here for uh, 23 gold. Then this worker can start uh, building a road as well. So uh, let's send this other cargo ship out as well. We're going to send this one out to uh, Mogadishu for another 23 gold. And uh, we have finished our archaeologist. And what else have we got lined up here? A rifleman in three turns. Okay, I guess that's, I guess that's okay to get a little bit, uh, um, have a little bit of a bigger military. Um, let's send this archaeologist down. Do I have another one that I sent down in the last episode? I can't quite remember. Yeah, there's one down here. So we do need to, uh, to get to this one all the way down here, which is going to take us two turns. Amazingly, they, uh, they travel pretty fast along those roads, those archaeologists. So we can send it all the way down to, uh, to Hurrah. Darius has completed the porcelain tower. Milan seeks a great writer. Okay, we killed a Spanish spy. Fantastic. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this merchant. Can we get into the city? Um, next turn, we will buy this out. I'm interested to see how much money we can get as well if we do do a trade mission. But we've already got uh, 6,000 gold, so I'm not, uh, I guess it's not that important um, to, to do more trade missions with the city-states. Muy bien. We do need to improve the oil as well, so um, once the worker finishes that road over there, we can grab this oil. Uh, we've killed a Polish spy now. Fantastic. We are killing those spies, um, preventing the other civilizations from stealing our technology. Okay, so Alexander McKenzie, he's in Quebec City. Uh, let's have a look. We can construct, con conduct a trade mission uh, for four. To, is there only fourteen hundred? Um, and why can't we buy this city? Why can I not buy Quebec City with this great merchant? Okay, so we're going fairly well. We do need refrigeration before I can get that oil. Uh, Captain Casimir of Poland, he's um, <laughs> pretending to be upset about spying on us again. Um, he continues to spy on us over and over again. And um, he's obviously not, not really sorry about doing it. But uh, luckily we do keep catching him out. Is it a fact, or have I dreamt it, that by means of electricity, 
The world of matter has become a great nerve, vibrating thousands of miles in it. Okay, so we have researched electricity. Why can we not buy Quebec City? I don't understand. Um, I'm sure we got a lot more gold as well for our trade mission with Melbourne. I'm pretty sure we got double that, 2,800. Um, and I thought that was a part of our social social policy that we we got double from trade missions. Here we go. Entrepreneurship. Receive double gold from great merchant trade missions. Um, I don't know why it's only 1400. Uh, when we went to Melbourne, we did get uh, 2800 uh, from Melbourne. I don't know if it just depends on the the city state. Um, should we try and go back to Melbourne? Let me have. Yeah, I don't know why I can't buy out this this city, Quebec. Um, okay, well I guess I'm just going to conduct the trade mission here for 1400. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do, but don't really have much choice about it. Uh, now we can start this archaeological dig as well. It's going to take us five turns. Um, I don't think I want another uh, rifleman. Let's change this production here. Let's see what else we can do. We do want another couple of cargo ships here. Um, we don't need any more archaeologists, I don't think. The hospital would be fantastic, and the stock exchange as well for 25% plus gold, and an extra couple of merchant slots. Uh, what I might do though is uh, purchase these. I need to do something with my money, so let's purchase the uh, the hospital here for an extra five food, and we're also going to purchase the stock exchange. It should be a good investment. Gives us 25% uh, plus more gold, and we're going to change our production. Um, to the cargo ship and I'll build just a couple of those so let's queue up another one here as well um, let's queue up two cargo ships um, we can do a few more trade missions fantastic return to map there um, let's just quickly have a look at our other cities and see if we can build some hospitals um, in some of our other cities Kahoika is sorry Kathmandu is quite large um, it's a long time until we get some growth here as well um, they do have a few spots special spots so let's purchase. Oh, they're on wealth at the moment. Okay. Okay, let's purchase the lighthouse for them. And uh, we can purchase the uh, hospital as well. Okay, so now it's only eight turns until a new citizen is born. It's better, a bit better than uh, 40 turns, 42 turns. Uh, let's quickly have a look at Hurrah as well and see what we can do. Uh, we can give them the lighthouse, the Colosseum. We don't really need that. We can give them a hydro plant, actually. Um, let's give them a hospital for now. Let's return to the map and have a look and uh, see where this aluminium actually is. Um, there should be aluminium somewhere near Hurrah. Are they on the aluminium? They could have actually settled on the aluminium. I'm not sure I don't see aluminium there. Um, let's have a look around our civilization, see if we can find uh, any aluminium. Um, Okay, there is a little bit up here. So I have to send my workers. What are they doing? We'll send our workers over there. Um, just to to grab that aluminium there. Um, and that's all I can see, actually. Let's have a look at Kahoika. Oh, there's some more aluminium here as well. And I'm pretty sure we do have a mine there already, so we should be good for that aluminium and is there anything up to the north? No, so we do have a little bit. Let's have a quick look. We've got three uh, connected up already and we've got another uh, another three over there so that should 
be fine. Okay, so we're going to choose our research. Let's quickly have a look and see what we can do. I might leave some of these um, uh, lower texts unresearched for the time being. We may be able to steal something else. Um, and I do want to go for refrigeration so that we can uh, grab the oil. Um, so let's do that. We'll grab the oil and then we'll go for steam power and then probably flight as well. So that should be should be good. It'd be great to get some uh, great war bombers out um, just so we can possibly possibly take Ethiopia. I'm not not really sure, but um, they have a ton of wonders in there. I think they do have about 15 wonders in there, so it's uh, pretty amazing. If we did take that city, that would be absolutely amazing. It's just so hard to get our units in there. Um, okay, let's give this rifleman drill one, and we're going to go for cover one as well, and we're going to have to move him out, I suppose, so let's move him just to the south of the city a little bit and just fortify there as well. And uh, this worker can... continue on with this road. I think they still want a road. Do they still want a connection? Um, let's have a look. I was only... Okay, they do want a road connected. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get the road connected. And it should help us to remain allies with Quebec. So let's build that road. Um, we have a cargo ship coming in as well. Let's go to Kaisel for 26 gold. Fantastic. Turn 278. Our archaeologist has uh, just finished digging up the antiquity site as well. Um, let's go for the Persian artifact which will give us extra culture and tourism. So let's do that, yes. Okay, the gems have ended to Ahmad. Let's quickly have a look at this. Um, let's see if we can send those gems back off again. Let's go and have a trade. Uh, let's trade these gems for six, six gold per turn. Can we do six gold? Um, and uh, can we become friends, Ahmad? No, we still can't do that. Okay, fair enough. Um, our workers have reached this little forest, so we'll just construct a uh, little farm over there. Six turns until the next World Congress. We are putting a an embargo on Ethiopia. No, actually, we're um, we're putting forward our science funding um, to boost up our science and hopefully get to the atomic era a little bit quicker. We do want to get the United Nations as, as quickly as we possibly can so that we can get that diplomatic victory. Um, I'm hoping I can do it without too much trouble from the other civilizations. Probably my greatest threat at this time is actually Poland. Uh, they are doing fairly well. They're about the same score and they have the entire island all to themselves. Um, Let's just quickly have a look. Soldiers. Are they topping soldiers as well? Okay, that could be a little bit of a worry. Poland are top in soldiers and they're, they're very difficult to get to. Do they have coastal cities? They've got a few coastal cities um, that I could potentially take if they do start to, uh, to take the lead. Uh, let's send this cargo ship out to, uh, to Quebec City there. And the next one I may have to send to another one of my cities. We're getting uh, 464 gold per turn, 451 science. We're doing fairly well. Casimir III has completed the Louvre. Mombasa is in awe. Mogadishu seeks a great musician. And we've received a new unit from Belgrade as well. Um, let's continue on with this road.
Um, we've received another unit here. It's one of the uh, Venetian Sipahis. Uh, so let's... Let's upgrade this musketman first of all. And uh, send the rifleman just to the border there. Looks like Ethiopia does have a bit of an army building up. Um, so I want to make sure I can match match their units there. And I'll move the... Did I not move that rifleman? I think he got stuck. There's quite a few units here in the way. No, he's already moved. Okay. This cargo ship can also um, head out and start trading with... Uh, let's go with Kaisel for 18 gold. And uh, we do have to choose production in Venice as well. Um, I guess we could go for the Musician's Guild if we wanted for extra culture. Um, actually, we'll go for the factory. 10% production, production plus 4. Let's do the factory in Venice. And I suppose I could probably buy a few factories in the other cities as well. I'm just not sure what they're going to build. Um, they may go on to just bringing in gold and not, not producing any buildings at all. Um, okay, this cargo ship, let's go to... Um, let's send this one to another city, actually. We're going to move this one down to Pasagade. And we'll get a trade route coming out from there. Uh, in the next turn, we've got this Sipahi here, and I think we might just leave it... Leave it next to Persia, actually. We might just leave it there. Just in case we do need to worry a little bit about Persia. They don't seem to be much of a threat at the moment, but you never know what's going to happen in the future. <clears throat> uh, we are at turn 280, should be 282 now. Um, four turns until the World Congress. I think we're doing, we're doing fairly well. We've got everything under control uh, at the moment. Poland has adopted the order ideology. Okay. They're getting 14 tourism per turn. Uh, Morocco is getting 34 tourism per turn. Okay, very interesting. Let's have a look at influence by player. Um, our influence is rising slowly. Let's quickly go and have a look at uh, Poland and Morocco as well. Mm. Okay, so Poland's influence isn't increasing that much. It's actually falling with Morocco. So let's check out Morocco and see how they, they're going as far as tourism victory goes. Um, they're all rising as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, how are we doing? Yeah, so they are ahead of us. So we'll keep an eye on, on uh, Morocco as far as tourism victory goes. We're going to send this trade route off to Melbourne as we always do for another 17 gold um, this cargo ship can actually head off um, let's go to Hong Kong for 19 gold yes we'll do that and next turn what I might do is actually send out a few of my frigates um, just off the coast of Morocco and just to have a look and see if I can do a little bit of spying over there um, see if they have any potential cities that we could uh, take over. Um, their capital is not a coastal city, so we're not going to be able to take out that um, that city. But we, they do have uh, this one here, Rabat, which would give us a foothold here, um, so that we could stop them if they they did go for that cultural victory. It is going to take us quite a while to. Um, to research the technology to get the United Nations um, up. So, yeah, our, our diplomatic victory, I think, is still a fair way away. Um, okay, let's create an Ethiopian artifact here. 
So we're currently on 25 tourism. Still, I think, about 9 tourism behind uh, Morocco per turn. No, we're not declaring war on Spain. Not now. There's no, no need for that, I don't think. I hope so too, Ethiopia. Although I expect an attack from them <laughs> anytime soon. Okay, let's get this going again. We're going to have a chat with uh, Ahmad. Um, and a trade. We'll do a fair bit of trading with him. Let's trade the silk. Is it? Uh, sorry, the pearls and the wine. Was it the wine or was that someone else? He's getting minus six gold per turn. He can't pay for it. Okay, he cannot pay for these pearls. Uh, let's have a chat with someone else. How about Poland? Can we trade with Poland? We can trade the pearls with Poland. Um, he's getting actually a decent amount of gold here per turn. So let's go for six gold. Fantastic. And is there anything else we can trade? So, um. Nope, I think we're all good. How about Isabella? Let's have a look and see what she could possibly want. Uh, there's nothing there either. Um, and lastly, Persia. Persia doesn't need anything as well. Um, I might as well have a look at Ethiopia. I, I, I suspect they're going to declare war on us um, sometime in the near... Well, we'll go silver for, silver for pearls. We might as well. Um, okay, no. I think he's going to declare war on us fairly soon, so I better just check that uh, military build-up. And in fact, I might send some of these riflemen down to, the, um, to Melbourne here as well. Uh, let's send a couple more riflemen down. Um, just make sure... He doesn't start declaring war on us. If I can. Um, let's upgrade these musketmen here. And these musketmen can upgrade as well. So we've, we've got a fairly strong position here with uh, Kathmandu. Um, if we wanted to, we could even purchase the. castle here. Um, but I don't think... I don't really think we need to worry about that. Okay, let's send this cargo ship out. Again, the only thing about these cargo ships is you do need to keep on <laughs> sending them out again every 10 turns. Um, okay, let's go. Let's see how that goes. Um, wine for pearls. I thought I'd check this, but I couldn't couldn't see that he had wine there. So let's accept this deal. Wine for pearls is fine. Um, turn 283 six, six, for six gold, and that is fine as well. So we'll do that. Uh, these workers should be getting this aluminium out fairly soon. We've got four turns until refrigeration. Um, so let's see if we can get that done quickly. I'm just going to move this one up here as well and we're going to just fortify these riflemen on the border here. Okay, I guess we'll have a look and see what the other cities are doing now. A stock exchange is being produced in Pasigade. Um, in Harar, we have um, the museum. Uh, we've got a museum in Susa as well. We've got a factory coming in Venice. Um, Kahoika is also producing the museum. And Kathmandu is producing the stock exchange as well. So we should be getting a little bit more gold there. We're going to have some extra spots for some uh, great works of art as well in the museums. Um, let's send this 
rifleman just through Melbourne as well. Has Spain just declared war on us? No, that's an empty spot. Uh, a great artist has been born in the city of Venice. For, for a little while there, I thought Spain was declaring war on us here um, with their tertios, but uh, there is actu actually a spare spot just here. So, um, yeah, they're not, not heading into Pasagade. So I may just send just this rifleman a little bit closer there as well. Uh, we do get to assign delegates again. Um, we also have a great writer, I think it is. Has been born in the city of Venice. Let's just fortify this rifleman just right there. Um, Gilbert Stewart. Let's get him creating a great work. It's going to be placed in the museum in Kathmandu, actually. Um, let's see what he produces. Has produced the portrait of George Washington. Fantastic. Okay, so that's going into the Kathmandu Museum. Um, these riflemen can just maybe just sit here. And uh, we do get to assign delegates again for the World Council. So, enact an embargo of Venice. Oh, I definitely don't want that. That would be terrible. Oh, no. Okay, that could be bad. That <laughs> that could be bad. They want to enact an embargo on me. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm going to have to use everything because that would... That would destroy me. I've got 14 trade routes up and running. Actually, is it with the uh, the civil the uh, city states as well? No trade routes can be established between the chosen civilization and any other civilization. I'm not sure if that actually includes the city states. Um, I would love to have science funding through, but I definitely don't want this embargo. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to have to check between episodes if that embargo um, includes city-states or not. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Spain do have uh, quite a few military units here. They are worrying me just a little bit. Um, Quebec City have got the oil as well, which is fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at this. Okay, the results. The results. Let's have a look. Okay, so I tend to make a proposal. Okay. Okay, let's choose our production first. Let's get this out of the way. We're going to go with the uh, Musicians Guild here. Uh, we do get to adopt a policy as well. Um, so we finish commerce and uh, patronage as well. Um, Let's go with our rationalism here for the 10% science. That should bring us up over 500 science, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we do get to make a proposal as well. Let's just quickly have a look and see what's going on here. Um, Mombasa wants tangerism. That's not going to happen. Um, we get oil from Quebec. So we've got our 14 oil now. Okay, some spies have been trying to rig the elections. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Science's funding was not passed. Persia and Spain. Um, okay, we could have put a few in there. Let's have a look. Venice was not passed. The embargo for Venice was not passed. So we, we probably could have passed the Science's funding. Um, 
but we might try for that again actually we're gonna go for let's go for sciences funding again um, uh, let's see if we can push that through next time around uh, we do need to send off our uh, our cargo ship once more and let's just fortify these musketmen down here so we don't have to worry about them every turn uh, these musketmen can fortify just outside of the Spanish border over there as well um, we are at turn 286 so we'll be having a look at the score um, just in a little bit Poland Poland okay looks like Poland have been trying to I think everyone tried to embargo me actually <laughs> I have so many trade routes up and running um, yeah, I'm going to send my frigates off to uh, to Poland and to Morocco, and we may actually take one of their coastal cities just to um, slow them down a little bit. We have refrigeration here, um, so we can actually make these submarines now. Welcome to the modern. And we have just hit the modern era. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, we should be able to build this oil well here as well now let's create an offshore platform fantastic so we've got uh, a lot of oil we've got 18 gold I wish um, Civ 5 would stop automatically moving my screen around when I just want to have a look at this oil well um, yeah we have hit the modern era it's turned 287 uh, we've got an extra spy that we can use as well um, so we are at a score of 1120 we're kind of even even with uh, Poland and Ethiopia, who are at a similar score, actually. Um, whew, yeah, it's been an epic journey. We've got uh, 14 trade routes out. So, yeah, we're going to pop these scientists in a little bit and hopefully head up to the atomic era. Let's quickly have a look and choose some science before we finish this episode and uh, just see where we're going to be headed. Um, yeah, we've just hit a refrigeration. So I may actually go for... I kind of want to steal these technologies here, if I can. Um but it's taking them a little while. Let's let's go for radio. We're going to go for radio in the next episode. We'll get that out. Um, so that is all the time we have for. Thank you so much for watching. See you all again soon for the next episode of Civilization Five.